Hello, hello guys, welcome back. So we have seen the final concept of the, our UI UX design, okay? So finally, we have made the whole poster for this process. This is really important guys, making a documentation for your project. Let it can be useful for your portfolio or for your own record or for showcasing to somebody or for putting it, putting it up as a display. It doesn't matter, but you need to have a document for your project. Only then, it will make a lot of sense when you want to refer it in the future or when you are presenting to someone else. Okay, so you don't just put uh, screenshots of your final concept. You just put little background of what's happening, not much, little. Let's say if you're working for one hour, you need to spend 10 minutes of your time to document what you've worked, what you've collected, what you've ideated, what you've finally made as a concept. What is the reason for it? What is the background of the project? Very, very important guys. Very important when you do a project documentation. How you make it, how you, how, you, how you sell it or how you even present it to your team. That does really matter. See, we have put some statistics in the project background. Problem statement is we need to get, which is like increasing uh, problem with the waste management. Great economy is there, run it. Insights and value proportion. What is the value that we can add through these options? And then we did, this is the process we ideated. We designed high fidelity, low fidelity wireframe. We did mapping of stakeholders, user person. So all these things are put up. This is a team course who guided us. He's a guy from Honeywell, uh, Karma Bhutia, very nice faculty who taught about UI UX design. And final concept, see how the poster looks. It has a whole process, it has a whole work what has been done, the final pictures. This is how a UI UX should be documented. It's really important when you have a design documentation practice also. I will have one course in my teaching which is design documentation practice wherein I teach you about a case study with the example of how to document it. Okay, So this is also a good way to make a posters. You take any tool, Photoshop or Illustrator, you just tend to have a bigger picture of what is your whole project about. How is the journey mapping about? How is the mapping that you made, you travel through this whole project about? Okay, then it makes clear sense. Hey, this is the user study. This is the research output. This is the ideation. That is the prototype. That is the implemented final concept. See, people can really comment. People can really come and build on top of your projects if you show it to other designers. Let's say if you don't have a document like this, you put everything as a cluster. Nobody even cares to explain. Nobody even takes that much interest to see and give a feedback. How can you then improve? You, you will itself not feel comfortable making these kind of things. If you have a good document, you will feel very happy to show others or you keep it for your record, either for your portfolio or for your blog posting or to get a job or anything. Okay. So I talked about a lot of documentation guys. So we are coming to the end of this course. So you have learned certain principles of UI UX process and how a, how a small system design activity can be converted into a solution using a UI UX problem. Finally, you saw about the poster and documentation of a UI UX project. So this is all about this course guys. So I hope you like this course particularly for the learning what you had. So comment me below if you have a feedback for us to improve or, or, or any uh, a positive feedback what you have about us, please do share with us. We'll be happy to read that. If you have any doubts regarding to design or if you want any handholding doubts or something which is related to UI UX or a general design, I'm a product designer as well. Please feel free to comment here. I'll be really happy to follow, follow it up with you. I'll be happy to give a critique also to make your projects even more better. Okay, so thank you guys. We'll see in another course.